Okay, this is stairwell down from the registration reception main area. Goes right out onto the grounds. To the right is the Crystal Restaurant as well as the theater and outdoor theater. There's two stages. <clears throat> And this area over here is where the outdoor buffet is, as well as a few of the a la carte. Here is the Japanese. Interesting thing that I would suggest thinking about is typically when I go to a resort, I like to have ocean view. <clears throat> As you'll see, a resort is a rather large horseshoe shape. So ocean view basically means your balcony is going to be looking into the resort. And you are somewhat of a distance away from the ocean, though not too far. I would say 200 yards tops. The one advantage of having a mountain view is your view is completely secluded and you're overlooking these hilly mountains. The mornings are basically full of bird sounds, the odd monkey sound. All of the pools here are quite open and exposed. There's five pools. Right over here to the right is Rio Palace Guanacasta, which actually has a lot of character. The pool areas are much more intimate. I found a lot more personality because it's not as exposed as over here. This is the main pool. There's an infinity down to a sports area where people play volleyball. Then there's a pool to the left. Pool to the right, which is over here, and then the one bar pool, which is relatively small. Then, past the pool bar, you find a little lobby, and then the ocean. One thing that I found a little bit interesting, it's different from other resorts, is it's non smoking. You actually have to be off to the ocean area to be able to smoke. People that you see straight ahead are the smokers. And here's a little lounge. This is where you're going to find all your iguanas. And over here to our right, between us and the Guanacasta, is the steakhouse, which is open for lunch and a la carte dinner right there.